and I think we're off. Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming. Um, so we're on the third act, at least uh, my act of God of War. <laughs> uh, I want to try to get uh, into a, uh, a significant uh, portion of the game today. Um, I don't want to make so many videos and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, today we're going to try and hopefully not take over two hours, but we do want to get through a significant portion of the game. I'm still learning the game. Uh, I know I haven't been on here for a little while, so I'm still trying to learn the game. And so, um, my hopes are that, um, that I can get better at the game so I can get deeper into the game. I usually hit my stride on this game on like the uh, third setting. So most games that I play um, like this uh, that are new to me, uh, I usually, maybe on the third setting, I usually get some type of stride. Uh, I have been playing the game um, uh, on my uh, uh, TV in the uh, living room uh, on my PlayStation Pro. And wow, this game looks fantastic. So let's just get into it. Let's continue where we were at. Had to do an update. So some of this may be rehashed from the last video. Uh, but we don't care. We can't get enough of God of War. Uh, God of War looks awesome. And um, yeah, we want to get through a significant portion of it today. Uh, and if my voice sounds a little high, it's because... I'm sitting in a very, very, very uh, small chair, at least for my size. <laughs> uh, my, uh, I, I shouldn't have bought the chair, but I went on ahead and bought it because uh, it was cheap. Oh, there we go. So, um, now guys, I'm going to be looking around. So, um, so yeah, um, I've played this portion a little bit. And, um, so hopefully, um, we won't get a whole lot of drop frames and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, not only that, but, uh, hopefully we can get through a portion, a, a big portion of the game and get some of the, uh, hidden treasures and stuff like that. We don't have to get everything, you know, uh, but I do want to get a significant portion of it. So um, I gotta orient myself. So if you see me stumbling around, it's because um, I'm just trying to orient myself. Uh, I'm not sure everything I've gotten. So <sighs> yeah, um, I know the second video didn't get that many views, uh, and that's because. Um, the material was deemed as shocking, so you you guys know about that. Um, but uh, if you subscribe to the channel, uh, if you have time to look at it, uh, go ahead and, and take a peek. <laughs> um, uh, I got lots of, of new things that I want to do for the channel, and so um, my hopes are that uh, we can... So, it looks like we got all this. I'm wondering if I can kind of go back, to be totally honest with you. Uh, because uh, you guys, um, there are some treasures. And R1 people want a light attack. Uh, I guess one's the strong one which they don't show. So I'm hoping I can get back. Can I get back? Yeah. It looks like I can't get back. Can I get back? Oh man. I don't know why I came up this way. I guess I could I thought I could come back. Uh if you guys know of a way for me to get back uh down there, kindly uh write in the comments. And matter of fact let me say this. Don't forget to comment in the comment section. Definitely hit me up with a like if you like the video. Let me change some of the graphical functions too. 
hopefully you guys don't hear this um this PlayStation or if you do hopefully it's not too loud I put it up toward the um uh, a little bit further away from the microphone uh, I'm gonna change some of the graphical settings too uh no the graphical settings what am I doing video okay motion blur oh there's a <laughs> TV all right all right well never mind it's already there uh, I guess they they turn those all the way up since it's some since it's a regular PlayStation but yeah um I've played I've played through it a little bit I died my first time dying on here and it's probably not going to be my last but we you know we're just kind of journeying uh basically what I'm what I'm wanting to do with this is just really just uh you know people who who got a, maybe an Xbox 360 or uh, Xbox One or something or have an Xbox they can maybe um, oh this is what he was talking about hold hold L1 and then press let me have my light tap okay I guess that's what I but you know, I might have an Xbox 360. I might be talking about. I might be thinking about uh, buying a PlayStation. Oh man, I can't hear anything. Let me let me make some adjustments. I know I'm making some adjustments here, but I can't hear anything. I usually be able to hear something. I can't hear anything. Uh, let me go back. Default speakers. Yeah, I can't hear anything now. Uh, hopefully, you guys can. And, um, yeah, man. Can't hear anything. Hold on, let me, let me turn up the sound. <laughs> That's a shame, I can't hear it anyway. Maybe I heard something once I finished with this video. Right now I can't hear anything. Hmm. I can't hear anything. I can't last time I let them hit me man I can't let them hit me like that Up here, man.
so while I'm playing this, um, well, let me say this before I forget, because I will forget. Yeah, I played this on my uh, PlayStation Pro, and yeah, this game should definitely be played on the PlayStation Pro. And it's nothing against the regular PlayStation. It looks I, I'm playing on it right now, so um, I don't I don't uh, the PlayStation One. I mean, uh, the PlayStation Four, the base PS4, or whatever, uh, definitely looks uh, fine. I mean, you guys can see it. This is the PlayStation One. Um, but um but i mean the, the playstation pro is just definitely on another level i mean yeah man i hope you guys can hear this uh, because i don't hear anything and i gotta have to monitor See, I got a little bit better. Just a little bit. Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> Man. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. Come on, one more time. Oh. Mm. See, last time I died on this, so man, <sighs> yeah, last time I died on this. I'm mad at myself. I should have did a sound test before I started playing. Something tells me when I start, when I uh. When I play this back, I'm not going to be able to hear no sound. So. But this is what I'm going to do, guys. Um, I'm going to pause it right here. I'll be right back. So, what it looked like was... um. I probably need to do a voiceover for this. So I'm probably going to do a voiceover for each track that I was not able to um, uh, do proper voiceovers for. Um, the, the sound test that I was doing looked like, I sounded like it was uh, going to work. But unfortunately, <laughs> uh, voiceovers are in order. So, I'm not going to do a lot of editing uh, with these voiceovers that I have because I already know what's going to happen. Um, and I uh, do want to tell you a little bit about the channel because uh, that's what I was doing in these voiceovers. So, uh, but uh, it seems like the um, the background and my voiceover just wasn't, I just wasn't able to calibrate it correctly. And I probably needed to do more tests before I, um, I, up, uh, I finished the video. So, But we are where we are. So, um, so yeah, we're going to do um, 
a, a lightly edited version of the voiceovers that I did do. Um, and, you know, to be totally honest with you, it's, this is probably the best way to go. <laughs> because I'm not playing and I'm, th I'm not thinking. Uh, uh, which is which, which requires a lot of talent. So, uh, that's one advantage. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, yeah. Um, did want to um, mention that um, we are doing some changes to the channel as you see me getting killed by this witch <laughs> uh, this this game got some um, some 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 characters um, and you know God of War always always did good with characters or whatever but this game got some monstrous uh, characters, uh, even more so than um, uh, the previous God of War uh, and and God of War Three. But before we get into all of that, I want to really talk about the channel um, before I lose track. So yeah, we're doing some new stuff with the channel. We want to update the channel's themes. I've also got some new software for the channel. And those are really the only two things that has been updated to the channel. So, um, they may seem small, but I think at the end of the day, uh, you guys will like the theme uh, opening that I'm going to do. The new one that I'm going to do is a lot, it appeals a, a lot more to the younger folks. And, um, and so, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to update the theme, uh, the software that I'm going to mix the channel with is also going to be um, uh, updated as well. So um, be on the lookout for that. I know you guys seen some of my playthroughs and noticed some of the um, the new um, you know opening uh, titles or whatever, and um, and you know have noticed that. So. Whether it's for the good or for the bad, um, we're going to roll with those uh, because I want to change the perception of the channel. I also uploaded a uh, Samsung uh, television review. Um, so, um, so yeah, um, uh, you know, be, be prepared uh, for more videos on par with that. Uh, I believe that this software that I have, the new software, I'm learning it. Every time I come into it, every time... I uh, I use it or whatever. Uh, I learn something new, which is good. So um, so yeah, I uh, definitely want to um, uh, get a uh, perspective um, or have you guys get a better perspective of what I'm trying to say. And I think this new software that I've actually paid for, instead of using the free software, is going to pan out. And I also want to give a shout out to my man Rifty Beats. Um, I was communicating with him, but he's he done the uh, opening theme for my uh, for this next portion of the channel, uh, this next journey of the channel. Uh, I'm going to definitely use his um, his uh, his um, intro. I'm sorry, not intro. I'm gonna use his uh, his sample. I'm gonna sample some of his music um, from uh, uh, his channel and things like that. But um, just want to give him a shout out, Rifty Beats. Um, uh, on that video that I uh, sample his stuff on, I'll put a link to his um, to his channel or whatnot. Or you can also look in my. Um, Playlist, and you can also see where um, I've liked his video, and you can actually see the actual video uh, for that uh, for that piece of music. But uh, definitely looking forward to putting his samples on the channel. Uh, I think it'll help out again for the younger viewers and things like that. Um, so, um, and also I just want to mention as well. Um, you guys might be seeing like a different, you know, a difference in quality um, of not only the uh, gameplay, but uh, <laughs> the uh, 
uh, the uh, uh, graphics as well, or not the graphics, but the uh, video as well. And that's because um, I played through a lot of the areas that um, I um, I did again, and uh, so uh, I uploaded it to um, uh, uploaded them to uh, the. Um, uh, to the server there and downloaded them again so you're gonna definitely see uh, 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 increase in quality instead of looking at this video in 920p uh, this is actual the uh, the 1080 uh, the full uh, HD video so um, of course YouTube kinda uh, uh, you know backs it down a little bit because one you gotta have a certain amount of clout with YouTube as far as um, you know uh, subscribers and stuff like that and viewership so uh, they won't give you uh, the full assets that they give other youtubers but that's okay I mean that's not a big deal but I guess what I'm trying to say is is that um, you know this this video is not of course doesn't look as good as as on my um, on my uh, TV in the living room but this is the PS4 Pro version uh, that you're looking at right now and uh, of course it doesn't have the 60 frames per second um, but uh, you're going to get better quality because I think my last video did 960 and I think the uh, horizontal was also uh, pared down as well uh, because of the resources um, so hopefully my next video won't be as contrived and edited <laughs> uh, because um, because of uh, technical reasons uh, so I had to definitely redo the voiceovers for this uh, because <laughs> the video that I did um, for uh, for this uh, initially it just didn't work out um, and uh, so uh, this video is definitely and that's my favorite word I guess <laughs> but definitely uh, is um, contrived somewhat so but I'm trying not to go through and do a bunch of edits and stuff like that because, you know, I do want it to have that live stream appeal to it. Uh, but I've definitely had to go back and, and redo some things because of technical reasons with XSplit. So, but at the end of the day, uh, it's all about the users. Um, and so you are getting a better video quality and stuff like that. So. You know, and again, we're not reviewing this game. We're just having a playthrough of the game. Um, I don't know if I want to beat this game <laughs> uh, doing a live stream. Uh, not live stream, but doing kind of like a playthrough. Um, you know, I kind of want to because, you know, um, you know my skills are increasing uh, because I'm actually playing the game. I'm playing through the levels again after I do the recording. So, um so I can actually get better at the game. Uh, so like at the beginning, you may have not seen me get these um, these artifacts or whatever they are. But, you know, as you can see now, I'm finding out how to open up that chest and how to unlock it. I'm thinking, you know, I had to do something else. So I'm just kind of going through the game. But now I'm just kind of um, getting the hang of, you know, what you want to do. Now, um... As far as that chest is concerned, uh, right here that I'm opening, you know, in retrospect, I kind of wish they had some type of, I don't know, some type of sign or something that says, hey, look, you have to do it this way. Now, look, I understand that, you know, they want the gamer to explore, but there's no way no one's, I mean, if you don't watch playthroughs prior to, there's absolutely no way that I could see someone figuring that out the first time they look at it and so you're going to miss you know your you know your um your power-ups and stuff like that uh but um i don't know i mean you know now you can see me looking for it and stuff i i, I mean i know where to go at and and find it and stuff so um you know right here you can see me looking for it but um 
But yeah, I wish they kind of would have gave you a heads up that says, hey, look, look around the room. You know, as soon as you open it up, you would have seen the lock. And then you would have seen like a little message that says, hey, look a lot around the room. You can unlock this or something because they don't tell you anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you come up to that chest and you have to open it. So uh, and, you know, those type of things, you know, uh, could be. Uh, very uh, pivotal when you're trying to beat this game. I mean, a lot of people get frustrated and, you know, not want to play it because they thinking, well, this game is well way too hard, and that's not the situation. The situation is you don't have all the power-ups. So uh, people can get very frustrated that way. So, um, so yeah, I did want to talk about that. I also want to talk about one thing. Again, this is not a review. I just want to talk about it. Um, but um, there's... Also, um, you can tell that, uh, you know, they've done some, uh, uh, what do I want to call it, um, optimization. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've done some optimization uh, as far as the screen size. If you look at the screen size, uh, especially, it's, it's especially apparent on my uh, 4K uh, display. I mean... I mean, they really, like, chopped off a lot of the screen. I want to say they chopped off at least about 20%. 20% of the screen. Now, I'm pretty sure the resolution is still, you know, where it would be any otherwise. But I can see in a remake or a remaster that they used the whole screen uh, for... Um, for some of uh, for the gameplay, if they decide to remaster this on the PS5 or something like that, uh, so uh, man, the combat on here is nice too, guys. I just want to say that too, um, and I don't and I talked about it on my initial uh, live screen, but the, the 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 combat on here is is um, yeah, they've 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 uh, definitely improved on some of the stuff you can do uh, now you know third person has that um, that uh, scenario where uh, you can't see who's coming behind you uh, they don't draw the camera out which you know that's my dream for a uh, third person game it's okay to and I know they doing some optimizations and stuff in the background but it's to me on you know future iterations of this series I mean, man, even though this is third person, it's cool to go ahead and draw um, the character out and zoom out so that you can see who's coming behind. You can have a better perspective of the screen when you're in combat. And I know that takes a lot of memory to do, but, you know, um, I mean, uh, let's see. I think Nier, well, not, Nier Automata doesn't do it, but I, I like that perspective because even though it's a behind-the-back perspective, um, you know, uh, and it doesn't do it in real time or anything, but uh, yeah, I would like to see the screen scale out uh, some and zoom out some so that you can see who's coming behind you have a better pers uh, perspective of what's going on. Now, they don't have to do it into the original uh, God of War perspective, uh, but I would like them to scale out just a little bit so you can see who's going out, uh, who's coming behind you. Now, I know they've got indicators and stuff like that, but, um, you know, like the red indicator means somebody shooting at you. Of course, somebody shot at me. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, you know, the answer to me is to scale out if you're able to. So, um, so yeah, but the combat on here is, is second to none. I mean, I just, I, I love the feel of the combat. Um, you know, some people may differ on that, but I, I like it. I, I think that um, the combat on here, you can, there's a lot of stuff you can do, and there's a lot of stuff you can open up. Um, some may, critics may say, well, you know, you should be able to do it at the beginning of the game. And, you know, I, we, we, we can go for that if you want to, but, you know, I actually like it. So, this puts us back to the 960p version of the game, <clears throat> of, of my playthrough. And, 
<clears throat> hopefully it doesn't look too much worse uh, in this version. A lot of this was done to uh, just show uh, consistency in the playthrough. <clears throat> Again, I played through this twice, so you're kind of seeing that. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is because the sound on this game um, or in my initial playthrough was really, really, really bad. So, <clears throat> um, I, I am uh, trying to uh, do a voiceover uh, and to show different elements of the game and talk through different elements of the game. As you can see right here, I'm still learning. Thankfully, uh for this um this so this new software i'm able to seamlessly uh just uh, edit the video out where in the last software there was no way i can do what i just did so um so yeah i'm able to seamlessly just edit out the video and as you can see there's a lot of choppiness in this video and that's because well uh i had it uh x split on a setting that uh in my opinion, allowed it to do a lot of the stuttering and the stammering that's going on in this video. So, hopefully, I can edit most of it out. But in the next production of this video, I'm not going to be doing a lot of editing. I want to go ahead and uh, try my best to be able to um, have... Uh, consistency uh, through live play instead of having voiceover so which is okay I mean people who use voiceover I mean I'm, I'm I will knock you if you did um, I would prefer to do live stream and <clears throat> in a way this is sort of like me getting practice to do live stream so but and have the ability to comment on the game as a, as I watch the game play unfold, and um, so a lot of this stuff I can kind of edit out. So this is a newer technique that I may use uh, in the future. Uh, you know, one thing about buying these editing tools is that uh, they always do updates to the to the videos and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, yeah, I kind of like this. So, yeah, uh, so that's one good thing about being able to use the editing tool. We can always come in and out of uh, being able to edit the gameplay and the stuff like that. Uh, because a lot of times, that's what I'm doing, exploring. You know, I'm doing a lot of exploring and stuff like that. Just kind of going over the game. Uh, of course, I don't want to do the whole game like that. Uh, and this, is, this version of the video is the version that... Um, I was kind of exploring in so um but the game uh just to <laughs> stop talking about the editing tool for a little bit uh the game is uh, it's very uh set up to be very modern you can tell they they've done that uh they've done a lot of things that horizon zero dawn has done uh which is the game that i would compare it to more so than any other game and, and that's just because they put a vastness to the game making the game bigger than what it is so uh, kudos to them for that so um, <clears throat> in our first uh, edit of this video uh, one of the things I talked about was the crafting of or whatever uh, additioning of weapon items and I don't know I'm kind of looking through some of the video and I my thoughts are that you know it's not a necessarily a big deal but I will say that it seems kind of tacked on just from the standpoint of a lot of this could be done you know, without 
necessarily having us do it, you know. And I do get the scenario where you do want to be able to choose different items for different scenarios. So, like, for example, if you have a lot of enemies on the screen that don't do a lot of damage, you may want to have your strength heightened or increased or you may want to have your you know combat uh, increased so therefore you want to be able to select the weapons that give you that advantage contrast if you're facing some enemies that does a lot of damage or you facing a boss that does a lot of damage of course you want to use you know, your defensive weapons uh, and arm them. The problem is, is that for this type of game, you don't want your weapons to be, or your weapon system to be that deep. Um, you don't want to have upgrades that nobody's going to necessarily use or can see a tangible difference. And that's kind of what I see in this weapon system. Again, not seeing that, you know, the, uh, the weapon system arrangement is bad per se, but I just believe that in this scenario, they could have simplified the weapon system, or at least for this game. This game in particular, this is not an RPG game. Uh, now, they may be going in that direction, but holistically looking at this game and playing through at least the segments that I've played through, this is not necessarily an RPG game. Therefore, you don't need a vast array of ways to uh, boost up your weapon system. I mean, because just by nature of this game, you're only doing one thing, and you're fighting people, you're not necessarily using magic to combat different magic, and I'm not saying that we're not going to do that in the future, but I just think that that's what that's why RPG games have a deep weapon system, so that you are able to have uh, those systems for different enemies you may encounter on a whole, like I've, I want to say I probably played at least between 15 and 20% of the game and the game is basically a movie, <laughs> you know and so you're really doing one thing, you're going after enemies you're not necessarily <coughs> crafting, excuse me, a lot of items so that you're able to you know, do a lot of stuff or to, you know have, have, um you know, uh, you know, to get ready for different enemies. Like, there's a lot of times where I won't even uh, that I know I probably won't switch the weapons. I just use a general weapon system. And you know, again, it's it's good to have that choice in the game. You know, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. My belief is that you know you don't need that. Now, I'll probably go into this deeper because I'm not gonna go into the mechanics and examples that I'm talking about. For this game, I'm gonna save that for the review. I'm hoping that the review is doesn't take hours and hours and hours or whatever. But uh, I want to save those instances and stuff like that for the review, so because I don't want to dive deep into it. But I do want to just make a statement about the weapon system, and that's my belief that the weapon system don't don't necessarily need a um, a, a vast array of uh, fighting enemies uh, that's that's not applicable in this game So, um, 
we're coming up out of a cutscene uh, to some more gameplay, but I want to kind of talk about some of the scenarios. And look, I don't know the whole story up to this point, but <clears throat> um, my playthrough, and I've played some of the levels on this game a whole lot of times. And it's a shame that I don't have more time with <laughs> games in general because there's other games that I want to play that I want to beat and I'm just not able to do it because I just don't have the time. Um, so uh, I don't I, I don't get a chance to do a lot of reviews and I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of reviews of games that I haven't beaten yet. You will not see that out of this channel and I've said this more than once so I don't need to rehash it. But with that being said, <clears throat> um, you know, um, with the storyline so far, uh, you know, it seems like Atreus. The big, the big secret in this game is Atreus not knowing that Kratos is a guy. Now, now this is a spoiler latent, so if you, were, you know, I may have said this late, but. If you don't want to not necessarily know the storyline, uh, well, you're probably too late because you don't watch the early cuts of the video. <laughs> so, but that being said, um, one of the things about uh, the storyline that is evident is that um, Atreus has not necessarily um, I'm sorry I got a text message uh, Atreus is not necessarily uh, privy to Kratos' past um, now my thoughts are that Atreus is in fact Kratos' son um, now that may change, but I like to think that, uh, Atreus is Kratos' biological son. So with that being consistent, um, you know, his mom is passed and stuff like that. And, you know, even up to this point, you can tell that Kratos does not want Atreus to know about his past. Why? I don't know. But my thoughts are is that he doesn't want Atreus to go down the same path that he went through. So, and, you know, parents who do that, you know... I don't necessarily understand uh, hiding your past. You know, I guess it depends on the type of child you think you, you've brought into the world, you know. But, you know, in my, and I, and, you know, of course I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, you know, knocking Kratos' or critiquing Kratos' parenting. You know, I, I wouldn't do that for anybody. But because uh, I think each child is different. But in this instance, my approach would have been just to go ahead and tell them, you know, because I mean, some of the cutscenes on here seem to s indicate that they using that information as a weapon against Kratos. And so I like to think at some point in the game. And that's, you know, I guess what they, that's what they call a subplot. That's not necessarily the overall plot of the game, <laughs> necessarily. But, um, you know, the subplot is, is that, you know, Atreus doesn't necessarily know Kratos' past. And Kratos doesn't really necessarily want Atreus to know. And so... We have that dichotomy here as a subplot. And uh, it's going to be pretty interesting the way that plays out. So, just kind of wanted to mention that as well.
And yes, um, you may be hearing my voice in the background a little bit. And of course, that's because of the inconsistency of the voiceovers I did in the first one. Of course, you probably can't make out what I'm saying. Uh, well, I guess it depends on uh, the sound system you're using. But I've turned it down pretty low. So uh, just FYI, if you hear uh, something in the background, uh, my voice in the background, uh, the main thing was to have the gameplay sound effects as well uh, in the background kind of low so um, but that didn't play out as far I wanted it the background noise ended up being probably higher than my voice so <laughs> my voice ended up being the background voice so uh, which I'm hoping to alleviate uh, through the next upload uh, but I, I played a lot of this. I played a lot of this game, so I want to make sure I got this up uh, on the channel because I played uh, through a significant portion of the game, and that was at the beginning of the um, the playthrough. You can hear me uh, speak about how much I wanted to play. So I played a significant amount. Uh, the main thing is to since I'm editing, I might as well just edit out some of the parts of the game that I was kind of searching around so that's kind of what I'm doing so if you see uh, some transitions yeah that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm editing out some of the um, the parts of the game that uh, I'm exploring And you can probably hear me, uh, if you turn the television up, you can probably hear me talking about my software and things like that. Um, but I can imagine that it doesn't, or the, that video in particular doesn't sound as good as uh, the voice over here. <laughs> But um, that's one of the great things about this software tool, uh, and I, not to make this video about the software tool, I'm just uh, making conversation, but um, the software tool allows me to make edits to different parts of the video that I need to uh, without compromising the other parts, uh, which you'll be surprised and um, the free software the um, the window uh, the, the Microsoft free editing tool that they have out yeah a lot of that is parsed together when it's put into the software and it's very difficult to even though they have them as two different entities, it's very difficult difficult to edit out video as well as um, voiceovers as well. So uh, I'm hoping that um, with this new edit tool, all of that will be a lot easier. Now, as we travel through the game, um, you meet this guy's, at least later on in this video, you will meet this guy's brother. And <laughs> you can tell this guy's been in previous God of War games, especially God of War 1. Um, yeah, the guy who plays uh, Barack's brother, he's he plays... He plays another voice actor in God of War 1. I don't know necessarily which God of War that is. But yeah, they definitely used him again. Um, and I don't really know if, uh, as far as this game is concerned, uh, if uh, any of the voice actors have 
ever really been replaced. I think most of them has been in, in there. Uh, I know they've probably used um, different voice actors uh, over the years to play a new character, but you know, uh, you know, a lot of um, the voice actors that played, you know, throughout the series were pretty consistent. So. You know, back to the voice acting, you know, I was a little bit disappointed they got rid of my man Carl from Living Single. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I don't I don't know necessarily the the voice actor's name, but uh that's Carl from uh Living Single and you know, uh he did a really good job playing Kratos. I mean, you know, I know they said that Kratos was angry all the time and that was one of the knocks on Kratos but man I mean that's not a knock to me <laughs> I think some of the voice acting uh, for Kratos is uh, uh, you know was, was pretty good um, but I am happily uh, uh, eager to report that the new voice actor that they have is you know pretty good Here, let me I'm going to edit through this. What else? And we're back. So... Um, so what you just seen, I just try to edit through a little bit of it, but I did want you to see some of the, um, options that you had purchasing, uh, items and stuff like that. Uh, so I just kind of, uh, skipped through there. Um, and, uh, so you can kind of see some of the options and, uh, you know, I can deal with that a lot more than the weaponry um, variation that they have in there. Far as armor and and weaponry, from my uh, perception, there's only one weapon that you have necessarily. Uh, of course, you get different weapons for Atreus, but for Kratos and that's my boy Stefan I'm, I'm gonna try to recruit him to help me out with this channel <laughs> but um, yeah as far as the weapons for this game I'm going to try and I mean I'm sorry <laughs> I got sidetracked uh, for the weapons for the game, I, I just think putting on different armor, they don't necessarily promote a lot of different weapons for Kratos. They do have a lot of different combo attacks and combo moves or whatever, but you know, you are able to add a lot of stuff to the weaponry. Uh, and that's portion I'm still trying to figure out, to be honest with you. Uh, they do have some deep gameplay for the weaponry but here, here's my um, thing and I'll, let me edit through this as well and we're back so here's another cutscene for Kratos uh, well maybe I'm sorry it's not a cutscene uh, it's a small little puzzle and uh, there's a lot of back and forth with this because I'm trying to figure this out. So I'm going to edit this as well. But I do want to see you guys see me progress through it. So let's try to get some fast motion in here.
and it seems that we're back so so we had a, a little bit of difficulty with the software but um, it looks like we was able to uh, overcome a little thankful that I'm still able to edit the material the way I like to so and no no we didn't have any movie maker type problems um, we just had uh, some technical difficulties which in turn caused the software to crash but that's because we was using lots and lots and lots and lots of special effects and also my computer is not the greatest so I'm pretty sure uh, even though the operating system didn't uh, reset I'm pretty sure we had some problems with the memory and things like that because this is a laptop <laughs> what is it boy look their rooms written a lot this is one of the first puzzles in the game that uh, I had encountered. Of course, there's um, at least one other, I like to think. But this is like one of the first. Uh, I would like to say the, probably the second puzzle. But this is uh, a real puzzle as far as the game presenting, presenting it to you as such. So... So this one wasn't very difficult. As you see, I kind of thumb my way through here. Uh, and I'll, I'll actually speed this up. And as you see, uh, as I began thumbing my way through here, <laughs> uh, I start to figure out what's going on. So this is not a particularly hard puzzle. Uh, it's just kind of a puzzle, a standard puzzle that you will see in the video game. And so... I think it's pretty standard in my opinion so but I was able to get through there and things like that so we proceed on with the game use your knife and trace the runes into the sand I'm happy we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. I would go the opposite of trace. That is how you find all of the secrets. I always Good. go opposite of a trace. I think that's more of a coding feature right there outside of shooting your trash. What was that say? I was like, I think you got all the secrets. All the secrets. Oh, you got none of the secrets. Okay, that's 
One thing this game does really well is lighting effects. And I know that some may say, like the Richard from Digital Foundry said, that Assassin's Creed Origins had the best lighting effects he ever seen. Now, I haven't played my way through the whole game, but I did want to... I don't know mention that because from what I've seen so far I mean and I like to think that I've played through a more significant portion of that game than uh, this basically because this game isn't that long so are from what I hear or from my perception let me say that because I haven't really heard anything about that so but yeah uh, the lighting effects on here are, are, are pretty well done so my opinion is that probably this game uses lighting the best but others may say a different game but there's some there's a part in this game and I'm probably going to show it but there's, there's a part in this game uh, that does lighting very, 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 very well. And not only does it, you know, because that's only, lighting is only one part of HDR. But the color, um, <sighs> the color, all of the specular highlights that are differentiated between blacks now that is if you have a good HDR or at least a mid-tier HDR television those effects are presented very very well and I haven't seen anything in Origins that rivals uh, God of War now I don't know if the guys from Digital Foundry beat these games or not I did see a video game uh, video that says that they do, but I don't know. I'm not really sure if these guys really play video games <laughs> for fun. <laughs> I think they're straight analysts, uh, and so uh, I don't think they necessarily play games for enjoyment. And if they do, they're probably like Sonic or something. They I don't think now. I could be wrong, but I don't think that my perception of them is that they're more uh, graphic enthusiasts, more so than the video game players. But that being said, uh, doesn't make them wrong about Assassin's Creed Origin. But I'm wondering how much they played through this game uh, because. There are some breathtaking moments in this game that, you know, sometimes I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. Uh, another misnomer that I am coming across more and more about this game is the fact that the performance mode doesn't work very well in some parts. Now, I haven't seen that. Now, I've seen some dips in performance, uh, maybe to maybe even down to 35 frames per second but it wasn't nothing game altering like like the guys from digital foundry and gaming boat they um and, and if you guys haven't heard of the gaming boat channel they're a pretty good channel um i would endorse them uh as uh very inventive in uh collaborating uh different different types of categories for different games they really do a good job at um, augmenting and uh, grouping and uh, 
categorizing different types of of games and gaming topics so so yeah yeah getting back to the topic uh, both gaming both and digital foundry was saying that the 60 frames per second doesn't work very well for this game and you know again you know there are some dips but i don't see any of it being game altering to the point where it was so distracting that i had to turn it off uh, now i do i do turn it on and off because i do want to see the contrast contrast between 4k and the you know, the um the graphics in 4k and the graphics in you know 1080p you know contrast some of the difference uh but for the most part i would say in my humble opinion that this game is totally playable in the performance mode so Awesome, totally awesome. And we'll speed through this part right here. As you can hear my excitement from the first version of the video. Now as you can see the graphics has improved a little bit. <laughs> what does it say? Um, no, that's from actually um, me not being able to solve that puzzle with the lag that XSplit has. Uh, and it's all because of my computer. It's just not able to process what's going on in the PlayStation to the screen fast enough. So, so yes, you guys will be seeing me definitely upgrading my PC uh, to a desktop here shortly. Once I get out of all of this other stuff, then I can definitely my favorite word again definitely be able to give me a desktop but I got a few things I need to clear up so that's the next big item on the list and from here you should be able to see me solve that puzzle pretty easily playing on the living room version of God of War or at least the PlayStation Pro version that's what I meant to say so so yeah and we didn't even have to speed that way through we we got everything we need done pretty simply boy over here huh interesting I may want to write that down. And let me speed it up here. Just doing some exploration. Only for you guys to see everything, right? Boy, I hear your animal ahead. 
And this is pretty much when the graphics become ridiculous. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and we're going to see this here shortly, but... Yeah, I think this is one of the most memorable parts of the game uh, that's probably not shown uh, a whole lot. But I hit it, didn't I? I did what you said and it looked like it bounced off. Could the board be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any board I've ever seen. Get after it then. Stay alert. More of those people? Something else. Some of the bodies are those big things. So I'm guessing uh, the removal or uh, stone segments uh, where uh, Kratos goes under the stone. <clears throat> I'm guessing that is kind of a loading point for the game. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. I guess if I'm wrong, let me know what y'all think. Atreus! 
We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all. So, yes, um. The blue that you are seeing is the HDR I'm so, so sorry. Keep that uh, remapping Keep color back to places where it makes sense. So, yeah, the blue, the dark blues is just leftover color from the Grab HDR the and of Grab course and this video was right shot in side. HDR but is on a regular uh, standard television or standard monitor so you're not going to get all of the color mapping uh, correctly to the spots where it needs to be so something like dark blue is going to go into black areas and things like that so that's what you're seeing uh, but this is on a standard monitor and I believe that the File itself is in standard definition as well. But to be totally honest with you, it's probably something I need to research because I'm not necessarily sure if this was happening uh, or if the file isn't HDR. So, unfortunately, because of a series of reasons, <laughs> um, I was not able to get any capture between the time Kratos was carrying the boar to up to this point, which means that you that the labyrinth no I'm sorry, not the labyrinth, but the Levathan was omitted from this uh, video. So theoretically I can go back and Play it again, but you know, <clears throat> there's been so many. I don't want to say what, what do I what, what's the word I'm looking for. There's been just so many mishaps, I guess, uh, from me editing this video. Like this is the longest that I have had to you know, edit a video or whatnot. So. And that's not necessarily true, but I've been basically working on this uh, video for about, I want to say, about two days. Uh, so I spent basically the weekend editing this video. And um, the plan is to be able to play some more uh, during the week, but I doubt I'm going to be able to do that. But here, back to the video, here... Uh, you're going to see me die. We're going to fast forward through that. This is another example where I felt like, well, maybe they could have gave you some type of um, warning or maybe a small tutorial on uh, that poison being there and what to do and what not to do and things like that. You know, I end up figuring it out. Uh, and most gamers will. It's just that... I don't know. Oh, look. Maybe it wasn't uh, a bad idea, in my opinion, uh, to have some type of tutorial for that. But, you know, it's not a real big deal. Oh. 
those ground divers are the least uh, favorite in uh, in the series. Uh, those of you who are fans of the series remember the kind of like uh, ghost soldiers that used to go underground and pop up. And, you know, those who are experienced in the series know that you had to use um, the lock and uh, grab buttons to uh, grab the enemies by stabbing them and throwing them over your shoulder, which is crazy in itself. And again, please forgive me about skipping around in the game <clears throat> again because of all of the technical difficulties I had I have to kind of edit some of the uh, probably more uh, pivotal pieces um, out of this version of uh, the playthrough but <clears throat> More than likely, I'm going to probably play through a lot of this again in the next video that I do. So hopefully the next video will bridge the gap in between uh, these scenarios. But yeah, that, that was a lot of good gameplay, especially with the Leviathan coming up out of the water. That was probably one of the most... Uh, impressive parts of the game. Also, going to the witch's house uh, was another Just give that uh, a turn. pivotal. Uh, well, a lot of uh, I don't want to say pitiful, um, uh, but uh, it uh, it's 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 one of the better segments of the game as far as graphics is concerned. I would have loved to have Here's that the footage captured, but. It is from there you know, we travel to Alfheim. Dealing with Thankfully the PlayStation, no dealing the with XSplit. No one knows. You know, unless you're streaming, it's almost day. impossible to after, have those moments could be felt across uh, all fed in consistently, uh, have the, the, the playthrough fed in consistently because of, you know, some of the technical so difficulties. Also, I'm on an underpowered PC run. as well. I'm using the... A laptop, and so that kind of feeds into some of the pitfalls that I've been having. So my hopes are that uh, I will be able to get better footage. Uh, with the configurations I have for the next video, or I have planned for the next video, so you'll get to see that. I'm just making sure I don't need to fast forward through none of this, and some of this I may have to, some of this I may not, so. Watch your step. Just yeah, the gargoyle that I fought. Came through here before that was pretty impressive as well. See? Is that so? But I think this next Let part here uh, definitely bridges a lot of. Are you watching? Um, well, it doesn't bridge, but Leo, is basically it's solid. the portion of the game where was in the, light of the game kind of opens up as a world unto elves. itself. Wait, and <clears throat> these cutscenes the are these free. upcoming cutscenes uh, show a lot of the graphical capabilities that are in this game. And you know, this is kind of where I am with the situation as far as graphics. This is why I mean, this the the, the base PS4 displays these graphics. Uh, there is virtually no difference between the graphical assets that are shown on the PlayStation 4 Pro and the PlayStation. All of the graphical assets are basically the same. So, with this, you know, the only, I guess, difference is, is that you know, these games are checkerboard rendered 
and help from the giants. Great you know, to travel the nine my perception the them. of these really graphics cool. are that, go, you know, if these... Especially by dead things. Yeah, let's just to say, okay, you know, these graphics, you know, graphics can't improve no more. These are the top graphics we can ever see. I would say that's pretty good. Now we know that's not true, but I'm just saying, uh, just give an example, basically a scenario. I just believe that, you know, this game right here is uh, a good example of. A Make game a ride at the that of these stairs. has utilized the, the hardware to its fullest capability and hey, is able to Wait there uh, while I give the light. a proper Zero representation stuff. of the imagination of the exactly? developers. Mending you know? the disrepair. And I'm not saying that, that they didn't have to compromise. Of course, they had to compromise somewhere, you know, in order to get the graphics now, to where they are. But it's just my belief that, you know, these now, graphics the right here pretty much sums it up. It, you know, I mean, the Xbox don't now, have a game like this. The uh, now, I'm not saying that the Xbox isn't capable of displaying these types of graphics. But they have the more powerful console in the You're Xbox really One X. Yet and still, these the types of games position. are on the PlayStation, and Bro. they show He's been really strong. what hardware is able so to do if properly utilized. Call them and well, what are they? you know, I I, I would hate to be any company that works for Microsoft because they're going to tell you we need this going. You know, Once, I don't know, no um, this plague of you know, brute force 4K. Out of you Something know, and that means you have to dial back some of the graphics forces. that you had planned for the game, so. I know for sure. It's just my opinion. I, I, I think that, you know, That's Sony perfect. has the right idea, and Mark now. Cerny, and of course, he's a uh, software developer. Um, that was impressive. And I don't want to say like myself, but <laughs> because he works on uh, a lot more um, complicated, uh, uh, you know, uh, forms of computing than I do, you know, which is basically, you know, uh, Angular web-based <laughs> types of projects. Uh, versus him, he you know he works with probably C code and do a lot of lower level. Um, you know, uh, programming, but with all that being said, uh, the Your point is, nevertheless, uh, that Only you know, he, he, when he built the, the PlayStation and Pro and the PlayStation 4, he built it with bow, the fact in mind that there's a lot of software emulation that we can do to the light have the hardware. The give all of the performance juice that it can and he basically as a software developer he built the PlayStation 4 uh, for you, like you know software us. developers who were looking were to, to keep me in uh, get more out of the console the I think I seen a was it a doc, I don't know if it was a documentary or a, a piece from a documentary so but uh, the guys from Detroit Become Human uh, was talking, and one of the, the things that stuck out in my mind is that they said Mark Cerny came by and said, oh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but, you know, this game would be a lot better if you could uh, add in, you know, depth of field and all this other stuff. And so, but I guess... My point is, is that that's the type of workmanship that's These going on in Sony. You don't hear nothing like it about Microsoft. Possible. I mean, Microsoft, they're going to support the console, but they're going, you know, their engineers are working on backwards compatibility. <laughs> So they don't, they have familiarity with the system, but they don't, you know, they're, they're not really focusing on artistry. 
uh, they're looking at uh, attachment rate. You know, all their, all their, Give it a moment. The all their motivation is point it is toward this room, numbers and, this room alone and that you will be able to cross between realms. and money. <laughs> you know, profitability. You how many people we can get to stay at? You know, own well these the games and to buy all of our. Time. I don't know, our add-ons and stuff like that, which I, you know, admittedly, I do buy like a season pass or something for a game I might like or a game that I want to, like for Assassin's Creed, I bought the season pass or the upper tier version, not not the collector's edition, but I bought the upper tier version so that I can play all the modes and stuff like that, and I can get some of the... You know no, things the um, is much, much more than that this. the game had offered the of post production, the fate of the world, and so just as we are bound to, you know, the tree nourishes our. Souls. I just believe that the dew from its leaves feeds you know, our bodies and, and it's coming up. That that's what Microsoft is focusing on. They're focusing on people to buy the, the, the post production add-ons, and Earth, growth, you know. And you can look at it and say, hey, it's just a company's philosophy, but, I mean, come Everything on, comes back to the tree. I mean, so, that's how it works. But I don't know, the numbers speak for itself. <clears throat> you know, I just yes. think better Very games well. on Sony, the you know, you, you, you got your mixture of choice, to lead to you, know, you can have Anaheim. those games, or you can have games Instead, like this. So, turn the wheel to our actual destination, um, Alfheim. But... Yeah, coming up, you're going to see uh, some very good gameplay, graphical uh, yes. elements. The wheel turns the bridge, um, and the bridge aligns to the, to the different realm towers and, on the lake um, outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And yeah, and that's we'll why be realm back uh, once, they, is impossible. once that uh, scene, Without a tower that scene for the bridge to lock comes into, up, so. the sequence can't begin. Till then. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one? And that so this is what I was talking about. From all um, over winters ago, I mean, when the giants vanished from Midgard. If you can put on your Where imagination caps. I mean, imagine in seeing this in 4K and HDR. I mean, it's a spectacle, and so Microsoft doesn't necessarily have games like this. And you know, and you see guys from. That's why I always, you know, I always kind of give like a, a you know, a side eye to people like Digital Foundry, and not that that that, that you know, none of the stuff that they say isn't factually correct. Um, I guess my my only um, my apprehension uh, to some of the things that they say is more so on the fact that they try to downplay games like this. You know, they try to point out all of the you know things like you know this doesn't run very well and at 60 frames per second. You know, that's hogwash. I mean, if you want to know the truth, uh, that's another example. Uh, put this thing in HDR and I guarantee you this is and play this part that's a treat because I mean that stuff looks Welcome to all five first of all it looks absolutely real Think you can but it's in a fantasy type of uh, setting this is what I was talking about uh, some of the uh, graphical the uh, presentation the the is just we'll you know that there. type of lighting effect uh, no, you no. just I, I just Not haven't this. seen uh, any video game that's been on uh, either console 
and so um, it's not by accident that uh, this game uh, is won, you know, PlayStation, which is She's the best-selling console in the world. Not likely. And um. you know, man, I want to make a video about uh, Microsoft because, um, and way. the good thing is, is Stay that I know me. this. Uh, software pretty good so uh, I'll be able to do that she's probably not coming back is she okay what is that So, getting back to Microsoft in the video I want to do, I want to talk about some of the choices that Microsoft has made. You know, is there some type of grand scheme that they're going for? Am I missing something? Are we missing something? Uh, you know, a lot of this stuff is compelling uh, in a sense that, you know... Not our concern, boy. Focus. Uh, it, 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 a lot of it just kind of doesn't make any sense and I, I'm going to just go ahead and this might be a spoiler to the video but I want to talk about some other things but this is one of the things that I want to talk about I mean they know they had a console coming out so they talking about they know this console is coming out you know they're working on this console they was talking about oh, there was a video that was out saying that um, or something on YouTube and they was talking about, I think they had something on GameSpot. And one of the guys from GameSpot, uh, and I don't know the guy's name, I forgot. But um, he's one of the Xbox Fox guys. And one of the things he was talking about was, you know, how hey, we didn't copy off of Sony. Which is BS, because we all know that. I mean, basically, video the video game... Um, the video game industry is basically an oligopoly, right? <laughs> I mean, and we all know what oligopolies are. I mean, everybody knows what everybody's going to do. Everybody knows everybody's technology. Uh, it's just who can copyright the fastest, right? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, you know, and I was look, I was looking at that. And I may, I may try to find that video pretty soon, but uh, and put it in the video. But I mean, they know they had a console. They, they said they know they got, a, they had a console coming out. And you know, the Xbox One X came out last year in 2017. I bought one. Everybody got one. I bought one, uh, but I didn't open it up until a couple of months afterward. Because, and, and I still feel this way, I just felt like the console didn't have any games for it. But here's my deal. Again, they know that the console is coming out. And they also know that they have no games for no. this console. <laughs> okay? okay? And they still, still didn't have a launch with a game like and if they did tell me the game because only game that i know that came out really that was significant for the xbox one x was uh assassin creed's origins that was third party but to me it was very 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 important for Microsoft to have a killer app for the Xbox One X's release. It was pivotal. And it seemed like they just doubled down on the fact that we don't need any games. <laughs> uh, you know, I made a video in the past talking about, you know, they put all their eggs into backwards compatibility. And they did. Uh... You know, I know I joked before about me being wrong, but I was not wrong about that. They actually did that. <laughs> they actually put all of their eggs the into backwards compatibility. 
How? Why? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not understanding that. This game really looks gorgeous, doesn't it? With the, you know, one thing I noticed they do a lot of. This game, from the time I popped it in to right to right now, while we're while, while you see me playing this um, this playthrough, one thing they do very 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 well as this video comes to a close. They use, ver they make use of reds and blues. The reds pop off the screen, the blues pop off the screen, doesn't matter what definition you got, how high the number range or not. They make sure that three things are evident, lighting and red and blue. Uh, and you know, I think that's fascinating from a standpoint of, you know, artistry and what you're going for. Uh, you know, things boil, always boil down to primary colors on any way, but um, for the most part, they use, they make use of reds and blues very well. And if you have a TV that displays, uh, especially like an OLED television or whatever, that displays reds, it is a natural form. You're going to be in for a treat because the lighting on it is second to none. Like this, there's no absolutely no way at this point in the game that you can tell me, hey, Assassin's Creed Origins displays better lighting than than this. I mean, <laughs> come on. I, I just, I, I, I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm, I just disagree with that. So. But, but yeah, this is this is, goes to show. Okay, so that did and this I'm getting back to thing. Microsoft. Um, Do not get because ready. I feel a video coming, definitely. Maybe not today, maybe not this week. But sometime in the next week. Uh, I do feel a video coming. I'm trying to start doing more videos. At least one a week. Uh, especially around this time. I don't have any person still uh, assignments. As long as I can still do that, uh, which is probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, well, probably will at some point uh, because uh, I, I want to make. I'm going to more of the. I'm going to to figure out how to do it. But mm, not to ramble. Um. What is there? Yeah, I mean. We do not belong here. I mean, just getting back to Microsoft, there's absolutely no way, no way you should ever, ever, I don't care if it's a mid-gen refresh or not, if you're losing in the console race, and one of the reasons why you're losing is because of lack of games, Combined together like that, they when kind of every time room. you put out a system, you Doesn't put some type of Bro, game, now I don't care if it's a system seller or not, you put some type of game, and you do this stuff from the beginning that's another thing that aggravates me and i'm probably gonna talk in that in that video that i'm telling you guys about <laughs> which i'm probably making most of that video right here but one of the things that is so irritating is that okay so now all of these rumors coming what out that going to tell me about microsoft you? is buying you this software war. company don't oh, you? Microsoft Enough. is going to buy Stories are for the boat. this company. We must company. focus. Father, I mean, come on. And ring Where have, have y'all been at? Oh, Microsoft is working on this game. We can't tell you the name of the game right now, but Microsoft is working on this. What game. does it ask? Without me or <laughs> that is so sure. irritating, man. I yeah, promise you, man. If I was an Xbox most, type yeah. of a person. That only play yep. Xbox games. It's water, all right. I would be so, so irritated. Cause my question is, what Boy. have you been doing this whole time? <laughs> I mean, you are you are a company, voices. man. You. Less angry. I, I mean, we're asking for help. We are here for the So right. you guys, I do not care. I guess are, you know. I I really, you and you know, I, and of you course, I've made videos say. about this in the past. No. But. 
I mean, come on. You really thought that this third party stuff What's was going to separate you Whoa. from something? <laughs> There's absolutely no tangible difference yes. in the games the voices I heard. that are third party. It was hard to make out. But way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard. Yes, if you Mother. pause the game, that is not possible. I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. You will see the difference. Put the game Here's side by side, blow it up 500%. Behind me, boy. 300%. You will see the difference. That's not that a difference. can't be good. <laughs> That's not a difference. I mean, the only real game that I can say, and I was looking at earlier, was the Witcher 3. And I think that that is some kind of a farce in itself. Because, at, don't tell me two teraflops is going to make the difference between a game having the ability to run at 60 frames per second and a game that is not able to run at the game per second. If I made a system. That was too terrifying. Trust me. If it's not able to run 60 frames per second with two terraflops, it's not going to be able to run uh, 60 frames per second in, in any circumstances. I mean, I'm just very skeptical about Witcher 3 but that's another video in itself I'm not going to talk about this but yeah what do you guys think um, we're nearing the end of this video what do you guys think stay about, away from those cages um, why they're locked up. God of War you know uh, what do you think about the storyline up to this point? Uh, I think the storyline is something I don't want to say it's threw away, but at this point, it hasn't what? necessarily developed uh, a lot of what God of War has been doing up to this point. In my opinion, is just giving us a showcase of what you're going to see toward the end of the game and um, and uh, I think that's pretty that good um, I would like to say this portion of the game is still toward I think we 35 percent in at this point in my opinion it may not be but I think we're 35 percent in and being 35 percent in kind of made this game into an open world type of game where you can go to multiple places in the game and um, I think that's pretty cool so um, yeah tell me what y'all think about the game uh, you know tell me what y'all think about the graphics in the game, uh, I, th I think this portion of the game is it's just it's, it's 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 just breathtaking. You know the reflection. I mean, you know, and 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 I don't know if there's an embargo on the storyline or a time limit on the storyline that Corey Borlaug and the rest of the guys are trying to at Sony uh, specifically are trying to. Um, uh, you know, tear it down or whatever. But, um, I mean, I just think I would like to have seen, I would like Digital Foundry at some point to comment on these reflections of light. I'm like, I mean, now they're going, I know what they're going to say. They're going to say, well, they're not their detail. Nobody's looking at the detail of the surface reflection. Uh, but I like the, the light scattering off of the reflection I think that is very well I think they're doing uh, the same thing as Assassin's Creed and everybody else is doing which is um, 
which is um, going for uh, light and you know lighting and reflection and and um, and more lighting and more contrast <laughs> uh, but yeah I honestly do believe that I believe that more game companies are going for lighting and reflection uh, the the artistry uh, on God of War second to none but um, artistry in general as it has to do with uh, where gaming's where gaming is going I believe that you know a lot of different games and you'll see this in Spider-Man Spider-Man will be coming up this fall and I believe that Spider-Man and many other games in the future are going to go for this like, like little stuff like that right here <laughs> uh, I believe that more games are going to go for that uh, subsurface lighting effect um, adding different colors and and going for uh, like a color theme so like for God of War most of the colors have our center colors uh, excuse me are centered around red blue and green and I think that you know anytime you are in the business of using primary colors as your theme uh, most likely you're going to use uh, 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 deviations of uh, those primary colors which is going to open your game up to be able to display many different colors like purple and like you see it on here per a lot of purple you see on this segment of the game a lot of um, reds a lot of lots of pink um, so uh, even though this is a kind of like a, a gray area and when I say gray area, I don't mean like you know, uh, in in the in, in a, as an instance. But I'm talking about gray area as far as this is more of a like a spaceship type of uh, level. They use and they're still using those primary colors, red, blue, and green, as their color bases. So they was they they probably it looks like they said, hmm, can I use red blue and green and in, in on a level like this well they can say hey we can have bio substance that is red we can have lighting areas that is red um, uh, you know it's, it's just uh, just a whole host of different things so anyway this video is concluding Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. This is Al from Transformational Gaming. Over and out. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed part three of God of War playthrough.